Welcome to another Real Estate Talk Show, featuring highlights of the best interviews from our national real estate radio show. Here's another property expert. Well, our regular segment with Nick Newton this morning is uh, being taken over by the Q&A segment. G'day, Nick. How are you, Kev? Oh, mate, I'm fantastic. Thank you. We've got two really great questions for you, Nick. We actually um, had a huge number of questions come in from our request, but we've filtered it down to two. We've probably just given you the easy ones. Well, Kev, I'm glad. I'd hate to stress my mind any more than you already have. <laughs> Nick Newton, of course, um, is our resident expert on absolutely everything to do with building, and uh, he's um, he's the man you should talk to. I'll give you his mobile number in just a moment. But, Nick, let, let's have a look at the uh, two questions. first one comes from Kevin and Hendra. No relation, by the way. Uh, I, want to, uh, I want to pave the driveway. The neighbours have a big tree and the roots are above the ground in some areas of our front yard. Not yet affecting the driveway, but it might in the future. Can I use a root barrier? Are they effective? They certainly are, Kev. I've been referring them and recommending them to people for years and years and years. How deep do they go, Nick? Well, I think probably around about a metre, no more. Mm. Um, And that's usually all they need. But look, what they would need to do is probably get an arborist or something to assess what sort of tree it is. Because mm. some trees do have a deeper root system, and uh, it may be that uh, to, to to stop it uh, properly, you may need to, you know, go a little bit deeper. But I would th- say a meter deep would be heaps. And the root barrier itself is available from what most hardware stores? Oh, look, you'd find it. At, yes, most hardware, I'd say, certainly at Bunnings on the weekend. Mm. Um, yeah, they'd have the root barrier there. Or if you even go to some of the landscaping mobs, you might get a little oh, yeah. bit more professional um, advice, Kevin. And, and uh, Nick, are they fairly easy to install, just oh. digging a hole? Is that all it is? Look, the, the point is, what you've got to do is dig a trench. So you really need to get a trench digger and dig it so it's only fairly mm. narrow. You don't want any mm. really wide trench or anything. And then just follow the instructions. Now, the root barrier itself is exactly what they say. It's a total barrier. It's a... Uh, polypropylene or, or uh, you know maybe some sort of patented material mm. and it just slips down simply into the trench and um, forms a vertical barrier mm. oh, well, and then there's a backfill it and you could probably use some gravel or something like that to backfill yeah well there you go Kev some great advice there from Nick and uh, Nick the other email comes from Michelle and Donna Springwood they're concerned about their deck the nails are starting to pop up the deck is only three years old and seems to be quite sound is this a concern, and should we get it inspected? Well, first of all, it certainly is a concern. Uh, I would say that the, whoever did the deck has used um, more than likely T-nails or a, a nailing gun, which is a nailing gun-type nail. Mm. And they do this for expediency and uh, you know, saving themselves some cost, but it's the most inefficient way to uh, nail a deck down. They really probably don't need to have anybody look at it. I, you know, the deck itself is more than likely sound, it's just the decking. Now, the only way to really do it is to use... There are dedicated decking nails, which have got a little dome head on them. Mm. They will hold the, the, the timber down and won't let it pop through. And Or what we're using now, a lot of... There's a design screws out now, and they're coming in from New Zealand, unfortunately, but they're very, very good screws, and they'll screw the deck down, and it has to be drilled and screwed in most cases, especially near the end. Oh, fantastic. But, but look, it is a real concern, Kev, because there's nothing worse than those nails popping mm. up, and look, they will rip the, the sole out of somebody's foot. Yeah, well, that's it, um, especially with little kids running around in a deck, too. You don't want them having their, their feet damaged, that's for sure. No. Well, there you go, Michelle and Don. Uh, I'd suggest you get out with a hammer. That good good advice, Nick? Uh, look, it is, but it won't last. You can get out. Yes, if you're talking about putting new uh, nails down, uh, yes, that's good advice. But just trying to nail down those existing screw nails that are actually popping is a you know it's an ongoing job. You need to be doing it all the time. So I they see. really need to consider yeah. maybe even just if they drill and screw the ends of the um, the boards. And what are those screws called? Just decking screws, are they? Look, they're decking screws, yes. That's all they are. And they're coming in, and they actually come with a special little fitting. You know how over the last few years we've been um, ah. sort of given those uh, posi drives, which are the yes. ones that sort of fail all the time? These yeah. have actually got a little square hole in the top of them. And, uh, and they each, come, each packet comes with its own little bit in there. Oh, and uh, it's a very, very positive type of drive. It doesn't screw off how those posi drives Yeah, do. Yeah, no, I understand what you mean. And they've been using them in, in roofing, I think, for a while, haven't they? Similar, well, similar, similar sort of thing, yes. Mm. Yeah. Hey, Nick, I don't want to be an expert, so I should stop making all these stupid suggestions. But, Hayderson, thanks for joining us. Look, it's been my pleasure, Kev, you know that. <laughs> Nick Newton, he's the man to see. Nick, your mobile number? 0412 
seven double one four eight seven. And talk to you next week, mate. Good on you, Kev. Look forward to doing it.